Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. So, everyone, it's science class, and today we are going to revise what we have learned in the previous weeks. You know why? Because we have a quiz tomorrow, a science quiz, and I want you to get full mark. If you want to get a full mark, make sure that you're working so hard and do your best. Science is easy, right? And it's also interesting because in science, we learn every day a lot of things about nature, earth, um, what else everyone? What else? Country. Countries, uh, about energy and so more. So, revision is so important because our revision will help you to remember all the things that you have learned before and it will help you to get a full mark. So everyone, are you ready to revise science? Yes! Let's start or let's get started. So everyone, uh, by the end of the lesson, uh, you will be able to recognize the difference between landforms also, you can read maps and also locate landforms on maps. So everyone, when I say landforms, landforms, what is the first thing that will come to your mind? Mountains, valleys, plains, Well, yeah, excellent. So everyone, um, let me draw for you some, okay. Uh, some landforms. Here we go. Let me go to the brown color. So, a mountain. This is not a brown. Mm -hmm. This is a mountain, everyone. This is a mountain, okay? This is a mountain. And um, let's draw, uh, okay, another mountain. So this is another mountain, okay, I'm trying to draw, this is another mountain, okay. So in the middle here, what do we call this area everyone, what do we call it? Valley. Valley, well done. So here, mountains, valleys, and what else? Plains, plains everyone are green areas, green and flat. Area. Well done. Oh yes, and I forgot there are also hills. Well done, thank you for reminding me. There are also hills, right? Let me right. draw. Okay, draw it over here, okay? But what is the difference between um, mountains and hills? That mountains have a high peak and hills don't. And hills are not as high as mountains. Thank you. So everyone, the other point is, you can read maps. So, as we have learned before in the previous lessons, maps are very important, very important. So can you tell me why maps are very important? Because everyone, you need the map to find any location uh, you want. So, and we're gonna explain and revise more. Just let's move now to point number three. I can locate landforms on map. So everyone, each map has a key and also symbols. And you can use them to find the landforms. So everyone, let me explain to you how can you locate landforms on map. I'm going to draw my map. Okay, I'll try to draw uh, Africa. Okay, I'll try my best. It's almost the same. So everyone, I'm gonna, um, you know, use the colors because the colors will help me to find uh, or locate landforms on um, on my map. So the brown will mean, let's say, mountains. Okay, and the green, let's say 
will help us to find the plane and uh, let's go to the mm, light brown let's say for desert it's not a light brown it's dark brown i want light brown where's light brown mm, i can go to orange okay orange okay here we go so everyone uh the brown or the brown color will show mountains the green color will show plains and the orange color will show deserts okay everyone so if you look at the map for example um here are the brown areas okay so it means here are some mountains and let me change the color into green okay and if you see these areas on the map it means here are some planes okay and the orange and the um, orange color will guide you to find where is the desert is it crystal clear everyone yes well done Okay, now let's move to talk about our seven continents. Okay, so as you can see, we have seven continents on the Earth surface. Okay, everyone. So, and something else, also there are five oceans. So here, seven continents and five oceans. Well done. So everyone, let's say them together. North America, South America, Europe, Africa. Africa or Europe first? Mm, Europe. Europe. Africa. Asia. Australia. And Antarctica. Well done. And where do we live? In Asia, in the Middle East. Well done. So, something else. Let's move to the oceans, to the five oceans. We have the Pacific. Yes. The Atlantic. This is the Pacific Ocean. Okay. What else? The Indian. Okay. The Southern. And the Arctic. Where is it? Up here. Okay, well done. Thank you for helping. Before we read all the continents, I have a song I made so I can never forget all of their names. And the song is Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Wow, it's nice. Can you repeat it again? Of course. Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Wow, I like it. Thank you. Do you like it, everyone? And here we go. There is a link and I want you to watch the link because also the link will help you to revise all about landforms and bodies of water as well. So everyone, what do you see over here? I see a small island and a lot of water around it. Okay, so let's read what's written over here together. Earth is surface. Earth has many different forms of land and water. A landform is one of the shapes of Earth's surface. The biggest area of land are called continents. And as I said to you so far, we have seven continents. Okay, everyone? And I want you to uh, read this carefully again. Let's read it together. A landform is one of the shapes of Earth's surface. Well, the then. Yeah. The biggest areas of land are called continents. And as you can see here, let's go. Do you see the shape? 
of the landforms over here? Yes. Well done. So, okay, here is the, who can help me to read? Me. Read it. Island. Island. So everyone, what do you know about islands? We have learned before what does an island mean. So, brainstorm, think everyone, try to imagine that you are in an island. So what can you see all around? I can see a lot of green land and around it is so much water. So an island is an area of land surrounded by water. Islets can be small or large. Okay everyone, and many islands often appear close together in a chain. So let me draw an island. So I'm going to take the brown color because the brown color will show the land. Okay, this is my small island. It's in the middle of the ocean. So the water will surround my island from, the, from all. Okay. All around the island. Well, well done. So this is my island and as you can see here, what's this everyone? Water. Water. So my island is surrounded by water. Well done. So you can watch the video and the video also will help you to, um, you know, revise what does an island mean. Here. Uh, as you can see, in the middle of the two mountains, mm, I'm not going to say it, you say it. What can you see in the middle of the two mountains? Valleys. Valley. So let's read what's written over here. A valley is the low land between two mountains or hills. A valley can be deep and narrow, long, or, narrow, long, or wide and no, wide sorry narrow or long and wide. wide well done so this is the valley everyone it uh, comes between two mountains and also it's um, as I said to you uh, deep and narrow or long and wide okay and do you remember everyone we have learned before about plains right so look at this area here do you see there are no uh, mountains no hills nothing right yeah so what do we call this plain. yeah we call this landform plain so let's read what's written over here a plain is land that is wide and flat it has no hills or mountains. A plain can be good place for farms. Plains can stretch for miles and miles. So everyone remember, it's super easy. Plains have no mountains, no hills. It's, um, let's say, a wide area. And it's good for farmers because they can um you know use it as a farm for them and plant many let's say will help me plant what many vegetables and fruits excellent so everyone a plain has many characteristics it's low land it's flat it can stretch for miles it has no mountains or hills okay everyone Let's say them again. A plain has main characteristics. It is low land. It is flat. It can stretch for miles. It has no mountains or hills. Here we go. We are about to finish our revision for today. So everyone, here is a great question. It's true or false. 
and what you need to do is to read and then to decide if the question is true, true means correct, or false, and false means wrong. So, the mountain is the biggest land form, or sorry, the highest. So, the mountain is the highest, okay, let me highlight this. So, the mountain is the, the highest land form, true or false, true. Well done, so you're going to write letter T. Oh, look at my letter T, it's, it's too big. Okay, number two. An island is surrounded by water from two sides. Wrong, because it's surrounded by water from all of the sides. So it's false, big false, it's wrong. So, a map is a drawing of an area of earth's surface what do you think true well done it's true okay now let's go to the last one so let's read what's written over here fill in the spaces with suitable words from the box so what are the words plain hill and landform. Excellent reading. So let's go to number one. The is not as high as the mountain. What is that? Hill. Well done, because I'm going to show you something. This is the mountain, okay, and this is the hill. Well done. So the first answer is hill. Good. Now, Let's go to number two. A uh, is flat wide, is a flat wide land that can stretch for miles. What is it? Plain. Well done. So it's a flat. Okay, everyone, it's a flat wide land. It has no mountains, it has no hills. Okay, look at it. What do we call it? Plain. Well, and finally, one of the shapes of Earth's surface is called a landform. Well done. This is the last one. Okay. So, let me write them. Okay. So, I need your help to spell the words. Okay. So, what I'm going to write over here. Hill. Give me the spelling. H-I-L-L. -L. The second one. P-L-A-I-N. And the last one. L-A-N-D-F-O-R-M. Okay, look at them. So, thank you everyone for listening. I am so proud of you. And I am sure that you will get a full mark. I love you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.